Welcome back to Let's Play Sundered. Last time we dealt with Dominion. And I got a flaming hammer. And exploding critical hits. And some other stuff I can't actually remember. Yeah, exploding critical hits. Uh, the flaming hammer, flaming cloak. <clears throat> and we defeated Dominion and got Dominion's curse. Uh, let's see, what was I going to do? I uh, need to aim for the uh, that extra perk as soon as possible. But the plan is to try to deal with Hysteria and potentially the bosses for this region, depending on how well that goes. I just know this is a death wish. That's right, this is the lift crawler. Well, I was hoping to deal with the Screamers and then deal with the Crawler, but the Crawler apparently one-shotted me. I'm just gonna grab that because it's sitting there almost completed. And I can't afford that, so... Survive. Or not. I'll completely die while jamming the potion key for no effect. I could have made it to the shortcut. Like bonk. Crystal room, we are safe. Come with me, my friends. Oh, that's the only one open. I got, I got kind of turned around and confused because of all the, uh, the screen warping. And now the shortcut is open, so now I can do that instead of making this big loop. And of course, that now means that we're dealing with hysteria. And I still have the Berserk perk equipped, so that's gonna get me killed. But you know I'm just gonna have to throw myself at it. You know I'm gonna have to. It would be more interesting to see me fail anyway. Well, somebody out there would think so. But they may never find this video. Uh, let's see how, uh... Well, on the bright side, I defeated him before I got the glide last. Excuse you! Uh, before I got the uh, glide anyway, so... At least I'm used to it. So I just gotta remember, when he gets down, there's a certain bubble I've gotta watch for, and I can use that to get out of the way quicker than I can jump. As long as I charge it up early. That would have been a horrible way to die instantly. Uh, 
that's not good. That's funny, I've never actually managed to be hit by that. I think. The Berserk perk is getting me partially killed because of the huge amount of armor I'm sacrificing for zero benefit because there's no enemies for me to kill to get it rolling. So let's fix that first. I haven't gotten any new ones, so... I you was know, seeing if I had either of the uh, the ones where you, excuse me, uh, not life absorb and shield absorb, the one where it's based off the damage you deal, not off kills, but I have neither of those, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw tough skin on, because I mean that's 10 armor plus the 16 I was losing, so that's basically 26 free armor compared to what I had, which is kind of better than what I already had. I could do Assassin, I suppose. Yeah, we'll go with that. And let's go ahead and bump that up. You know what would be really useful? <laughs> if I actually came back here and did that, but yeah, 3800 and nope. And luck would be useless at this juncture. I mean, for a boss fight. I'm trying to hang on to a little bit so that I'll have money for the Elder Shard upgrade, the Incinerator upgrade, and, uh... whatever other... stuff that, uh, defeating the boss will open up for me in terms of monetary fundage. The level gave me the short end of the stick there on the shortcut. I had to go, and then loop, and then loop. <laughs> Crammed as many rooms into there as it could in order to keep me away from hysteria as long as possible. But it cannot succeed, for I have infinite lives. And it does not. Well, I mean, if you count new games, I guess it technically does, but... Different sort of thing and context, concept. Conflurgence. Boop. Boop. You've been booped. Now we get out of the way. And we try to get that up for most run. Or I'll just end up down here. Okay, that's not good. Oh, man. It's been a while. My timing's off. <sighs> I got my timings mixed up. When you're... Uh, no, I didn't get them mixed up. I'm just off. Oh, I did put Assassin on. Well, let's, let's go back with Tough Skin. <laughs> did not go well. Gotcha. I lost track of myself due to the screen shaking. <laughs> The laser wasn't too bad, it was the fact the screen shook. No, I almost didn't get that one. Okay, now I'm... Gotcha. I'm 
right on the edge of it enough for it to consider it a hit. I have admittedly very mixed feelings about that floor stomp in the fact that I like it as an attack. The fact that you take the same amount of damage for being caught in the middle as you do just being grazed by a pixel of it, though, slightly bothers me. I don't know what sort of limitations the engine may or may not have, though. But usually you would think being grazed would do less damage. I mean, an object that big moving that fast is going to slaughter you either way, but just a fall. Well, not slaughter specifically, but hurt very much. There's one. And that's because I've hit the 50% health part. And now the, uh, the waterfalls become a pain here. take a cannon shot versus taking a uh, laser shot, the cannon was the wiser option there. Okay, we got two. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Okay. The sheer number of cannons is becoming a problem now. That one stray money gem that just flew in from the right. Oh, goodness. Yeah, what I'm probably going to do is go ahead and make a run to the incinerator. I don't know if at any point these uh, incineration upgrades are going to become suddenly expensive. So I'm going to hang on to the gems, go to the incinerator, do that, and then come back to the sanctuary and spend our well-earned money gems. And then decide whether I want to try to make a bum rush for the perk or go ahead and take the 50 extra shield. But, in any case... Oh yeah, yeah, another thing. We did them in order this time. Oh, never gotten to see what that one does with the, uh, the non-Eldritch cannon. Incineration time! Only starting to. Let's fix that. Letting him possess us and turn us into Cain would have been the, the stupid. He said, don't be stupid, so I was just clarifying. 
but what he wants uh, would kind of fall into that category, or the end result of it. Let's see what we got. It looks like a flaming fist with a lightning bolt sticking out of it. Ye bot's flaw. Your downward air attack. Do Ooh, is that the downstab? The thing I like? Leia ye bot is a renowned priest. His magic is hard to counter, but our technology will prevail. Boop. I really want that third perk. But I really want more shield, too. And I need that just to form a bridge across here. Because it'll overall be cheaper than trying to go down and around it. Well, that and it is useful. I mean, it's not like I'm wasting an upgrade. 4400! Third perk! Yes! I had literally just enough. Oh, yeah, we should probably go put Berserk back on. What did we get? Health Charm. Rank 2, not bad. Bullet Transfabricator, and Nemesis Rank 2. You know, by using that, I can offset the disadvantage of that by a bit. Meaning I only lose 6 armor, but I sacrifice 25% of my cannon damage as an offset. Hmm. Hmm, that's not a bad deal. Let's see what this thing does. They're still all fire, fire themed, but given how much damage that already does, that should be useful. So next, my plan is deal with the two bosses to the left, and then try to scrabble our way to the top of the elevator tower in the right area for that third shard, which will go ahead and bump us up to, a, I mean, fragment, bump us up to another shard. Having to remember which word. Putting random emphasis on things also. Oh dear. That is not a good sign. Not a good sign at all for your mental stability. Oh cool. If you do it just as you touch the ground, you can just go ahead and do the explosion. It's a little hard to time it real high though. You get the idea. I'm gonna sit here and waste your time. I'll waste my time, but not your time. Not intentionally so. And now my crits are explosive and they explode when they die. That's a good, safe, wholesome combination that doesn't involve lots of death. <laughs> Chain reaction. Oh, that's nice. Oh, there we go. So you can do that. Now I've just got to find this Leia and hope I can get her into a uh, area that's useful terrain for me to navigate. There you are. I'm not gonna lie, that was funny. <laughs> okay. Back to the sanctuary. 
I figured the cultist boss would have been the quickest one. I did not expect it to be that quick. Uh, I figured the cultist boss would be the easiest because uh, semi-stationary, the screamer boss is going to be oh so fun. Because I get hit with a lot of projectiles and I really don't have the shield for that right now. But while I'm here, these damage ups really need to be done. Wow, a replenish room right outside the sanctuary. How helpful. Not like I'm already at full health and everything. What angle are you at? Okay, sir. You just, you do you, I guess. Or is this where it was? And there it comes. That was explosive. I went the wrong way. This is a waste of time. I mean, yeah, I guess I could sit there and just endlessly farm, but I don't really feel like it. Let's go ahead and get that damage up. Okay, so now the option is between grabbing that shield up over here, which is now 5,000, yay! So that does prove that each one gets more expensive. I mean, each time you get one of the bigger ones, the rest of them go up in price. Explains why it's not cheap like I would have thought it would be being that close to the center, but anyway. So yeah, probably ought to grab Scavenger if I get the chance, but on the other hand, 50 more shields. Is actually not bad as long as I can get rid of the screamers. And that's that. Whoops. Shield Converter, rank 2. That went well. 
Okay, what, 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 why, why is that? Don't make dead ends. Don't make long dead ends. All that so I could go back and get the money, Jim. We all know that's why I have to do it. And the crawlers are not happy with me. I'm sure that one ain't happy. Got quite of a headache now. Ole! And that's a dead end. Not good. Not a good time, uh, people. Balls for him. That does not help me at this juncture. Darn it! You just about got to deal with one before the other one gets in here, or you're in so much trouble. It's useless to even hope if you can't kill one and then back away, but I had run out of health potions anyway because I still only have one health potion because I'm brilliant with usage of my money gems. No comment. If you get near both of them, they can get into a, a rhythm and it just... Uh, That would be useful, but for the moment, I'm putting that one off, because that's a far way into there, and when I get the grappling hook, I'll get the uh, shield downtime reduction, which will further benefit that. That costs 5,000. Ability. Crawlers all over the walls. Ooh, a perk. Life absorb? No, that's not the one I need. I need the one that takes it off of the damage you deal, not the one that takes off of kills. Well, too bad I, uh, you know, I'm down a health potion and half my health already. Well, let's go ahead and try to summon a horde while I'm entering the boss room. Get down here. Back, 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 back. Okay, so I can take two of them before my shield. Well, the third one would break my shield and hurt me. And I found a potion somewhere along the way. Trying to remember the pattern. It's too small, and then either a shotgun blast or the berserks. Berserk mode. And I need to ignore it when it's in that half of the room. This is kind of one of those boss fights that's a little bit of, uh, 
patience and tedium. Did the shotgun blast and the spinny thing. One after the Psych me out. Nope, nope, nope. Out of the way. I ran into the spikes. Not doing well. I am not doing well at all. No, can we not? How about no? I'm gonna come down here so I have a little more room. A little more room, a little more vertical. Option. What was I hitting there? I, mean, I was swinging in midair and I was seeing damage. I'm not going down there into that corner with all the spikes because I will die. I will die and not even in a funny or, you know, amusing way to walk. And naturally, one random stray shot. Or one stray random shot. Okay, there we go. Boop. That better have been worth it. 241 shield. Didn't I have 180 something? So, I mean, I guess it's not useless, but still, that hurts. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that just because I'm down there, and I'm gonna switch Berserk off because, again, boss. Life Absorb, Golden Charm, High Density Bullets, and Shield Converter. Which at this point would be another 150 shield, which would not be great. I don't have enough health for that to really be a uh, big or useful thing. I guess just take the, uh, take that. Uh, I, I, you know, I may be better off just with no perk there. In this case. I mean, at least that's 16 more armor than what I had.
<sighs> that was a horrible idea on my part. A horde appeared. I barely survived the horde. I saw the lift thing and I said, oh, hitting that will destroy the horde. And then after I hit it, I remembered, no, it doesn't. I had flashbacks to the, uh, the lift worm where I had a sniper pestering me and I died. Yeah, well, at least I got a potion, which gave me a hundred more health because I, uh, I was very nearly dead. Like less than 20 health dead little sliver of red dead. But I'm probably still going to die here. Yep. I have no vertical clearance. Okay, now we just calmly try to climb and not die. The not dying part is important, mind you. That's the part I get wrong so, so often. To be over here, but I needed to just in case, because it was about time for it to throw either a shotgun or a berserk at me. I'm just calling it any kind of uh, spam attack like that berserk. I know it's. I may actually win this. No, as soon as it does a berserk, I'm dead. Get out of there. Or a shotgun. Yep. Yeah. 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 That's the don't die alarm. Beep. That, that's me disabling the don't die alarm, obviously. Oh. In any case. That's the two out of three Elder Shards. Two out of three Fragment. Are we calling them? I don't know anymore. I'm checking the pause screen, because I thought the big ones were Shards. And I thought the little ones were Fragments. Yeah, that's a fraction. One, three, Elder Shard, two, three. So yeah, that's thirds of a Shard. In any case... We know I'm going to end up just like... <sighs> See, the problem is I really want to grab Scavenger. But, okay, on the way to getting the third shard over here, I might get the grappling hook, which might unlock that uh, shield downtime is two seconds, which, as we remember last time, saved my bacon a lot. Because there's a lot of times when you have two seconds of downtime that you may not have quite three. Getting that in the shield regeneration speed up to 60 will be important. On the other hand, scavenger would let me farm quicker. Which doesn't really affect y'all, because most of that is going to get me jump cut over, but it would make the overall process a little bit faster. I was, forgot to come put Berserk back on. Also, Shield Absorb and Shield Flasks. Since I'm not dealing with a boss at the moment, Berserk is very useful. That's where I died last time, and that's where I've got to get. Which involves climbing up that wall. Which involves getting there before a horde appears. so good. And I think this is where the this part happened. Howard! Oh 
Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I was moving pretty fast, fluidly, and had no enemies messing with me. I know the first time I got through there by using the directional blink, because obviously, uh... That makes a lot of that passageway shorter. Because you just go up. Get, get out of there. Ah. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to go... No, there's no way back over here from over there, though. Because, see, the grappling hook is way up there. Which, that's the wall climb bit, which would be a lot more of a thing with the grappling hook. Just ignore them and they will go away. No, they won't, but I keep telling myself they will. Oh, it's different each time, that's right. Maybe some versions of it are just not climbable without the grappling hook. Okay, well that's a thing. It'd be kind of funny if there was a like oversight that certain ones of them are impossible to do without the grappling hook. Like, oops, we forgot the player may not have it. Or it may just be intentional that some of them are incredibly difficult. Who knows? I don't. I didn't play them. I need to avoid messing with these enemies right now. It'd be a shame to not boot that. It is kind of nice that I'm having to use the uh, the gravity boots a little bit more. Now that it, it's making this area have a little bit more of a puzzle element to it, because I'm having to carefully traverse it instead of just blinking around like a mad fool. Which, while fun, may have been a little easier than they intended. Which, of course, the Eldritch Path is supposed to be easier, at least mobility-wise. I mean, not that Eldritch has anything to do with mobility, I just mean, in this game, seeing how the upgrades went, the uh, Elder Shard Path had a lot of mobility in it. That the Incinerator Path has not had. Which has been interesting, because it's kept the game from being repetitive in a lot of ways, because the two... Aethers? Why did I stop to scratch my head? The two playthroughs have been uh, quite different in that respect. I didn't expect the wind. I also didn't expect treasure chests. Or the Spanish Inquisition. Nobody ever expects the Spanish Inquisition for some reason. I can't imagine why, and yes, that's sarcasm. I re have I mentioned how much I really dislike the wind in this game? And having to stand here and wait for my stamina to recharge. I don't like stand. What was that? I don't like standing around. I believe I've been over this before. But I really don't like this wind! Okay, just because there's a hurricane in Florida it doesn't mean you get to throw all the wind into my game. Not making light of the hurricanes or anything, just a mild joke because I realized that all the wind references... Not just Florida, I mean the, the islands have been hit with it pretty bad. As well, a lot of people have been... There, there's a lot of storm things going on and I'm not making light of any of that. Uh, but anyway, grappling hook. Swear at a distance, that looks like a little Buddha face. Anyway. Grapple. Advise, I'm going to kiss you, Sakharovskite. Dark 
First, I need to get this elevator activated. And getting up there is, uh... I can climb. <laughs> Being able to grapple is so helpful. Not having wind is also very nice. I was afraid up here there'd be a lot more wind. <laughs> oh no, not you! Forgot about the uh, the little boss wannabes, which weren't a problem when I had the mobility to really explore this area. But lacking that brain, 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 go away, come again, never again. Can't deal with this right now. Forget you. I'm not dealing with this. I refuse. Go away, Horde. I'm not coming out. Oh, look, I'm, I've stumbled into the boss room by accident. No, uh... Then why is it showing the key way up there? Because I need to get up there. No, the shard was over there, actually. You know what? I could deal with Sneep, I could try to deal with Sneeper, but I don't have anywhere near the mobility I would need to do that. I'm in the wrong area entirely, but I have the grappling hook, so who cares? I saw that projectile. And oh look, another projectile. Oh, hang on, now that I have the grappling hook, I can go get that, uh, that dash stab thing. I need to go, oh. Having to actually follow the direction of the map. I'm, I'm saying that because I didn't have to do it last time because of the, uh, the mobility, not because that's an odd request. I don't have enough energy also, which is getting me into a little bit of trouble with the, uh, the wind wall climbing. Hello, Brian's. Thank you for giving me a grapple boost. What, 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 what? You know, I'd really love to question that, but I'm currently having to deal with things. Excuse me. Because just what I needed. A horde! It's not like I'm trying to figure anything out or anything. Not like I'm currently occupied. Dead 
But why? I wanted the grapple point, not the When there's multiple grapple targets, it's very difficult to get the game to understand just which one you're trying to grab onto. Why? Did, why? 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 Why did I go up there? The wind keeps altering my landing point for my dash, which keeps getting me killed or thrown into positions I didn't expect. Such as going headlong into the spikes, which I should have stopped, you know, about that far short, I mean that far on screen short of, not that far realistically short of. Man, that's glowing so bright it's hard to see which thing I've got. Uh, whatever. Sixteen hundred, really? Okay. Maybe the round ones and the diamond-shaped ones are a different class. In any case, that got us that, so... I'll eventually get that, we know it. Scavenger is still high on my list, though. Why am I not just running up the wall like a crazed fool? There we go. <laughs> say go away you can all die they need to get up Maybe not.
In any case, I'm coming down here so I can activate the shortcut and not, you know, be a death wish. Maybe it was over there. I don't know anymore. Yeah, we've got all but one of the shortcuts open. That help. I know there's a treasure there, but I'm not in a position to mess with it. Nope, that's Sneeper's territory. I'm not here for Sneeper. being tempted by that. Room. That's very useful. the ritual you're trying to use me to complete. Have I said no enough times for that? Okay. Here we go. A little missing Elder Shard fragment. is going. We know that I must do this. I must find out what it do. What it do? What do it do? I'd like to finish this. Be able to say I've got the second area finished. Gotten three mini bosses for the second area and the boss second area. Three mini bosses for the first area and the first boss. And the three extra shards, which at least I knew about them beforehand this time since I found them in the last playthrough. Incinerator is a go! Well, not yet. I haven't put the thing in it yet. Too bad!
What are you gonna do, leave me and go sit in your corner and wait for somebody else to fall down here to use for your ritual? You've got to put up with me, Buster. Ooh. Oh, I was about... <laughs> I didn't see the one in the middle. I was gonna say, if all it added was cannon damage, I'm gonna be upset. Sail yachts to extra perk. You are evil. I will return in a moment. And then we will see the results of this fourth perk you speak of. How does four perks? Why is that? Why is the achievement perks are OP not for equipping four perks then? Probably because they didn't want to tie it to a specific playthrough in which case. Well, I mean, there's also the achievement for just drawing a seven elder shards, so there aren't... I don't know. I cannot brain today. I has the dumb. I just critical hitted off of a roll into a container. Logic that. While I'm thinking about it, there's one other thing I've been meaning to mention for a long time and keep getting distracted and uh, forgetting to actually get around to mentioning it. One thing I really like about the money pickup in this game, once a money gem or item has begun being attracted to the character, it no matter how you move, it'll keep following you. Like, you can blink, you can dash. Uh, I have seen some other games in the past that had magnetic pickup, drop pickup, and they could actually slingshot around you and go the other way, and it could be rather frustrating. But, you know, dude just a thing. I guess 10% more crit chance at the moment. I don't know right now. Obviously, uh, that wouldn't be very beneficial to me for all the trouble it would take to get to it at this juncture. What I'd like to do would be come over here and get the these two. Scavenger and then these two would probably be the best. Which if I go that way, I'll get... No, if I get that I get the same stuff either way. Probably go this way for the two armors. In any case. I'm gonna go ahead and pause here. And I will see you next time.